Let's start with the uh, first question. Yes, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Can you introduce us to the band Hell Horse? Yes. Hi guys, we are Hell Horse from Copenhagen, Denmark. I am the lead singer, Mikkel. Drummer Jesper. And the bass player, Thijs. This is Steven, he plays guitar. I am Jakob, I play guitar. And uh, Eske on uh, keys. There's Stephen. And Stephen on guitar. <laughs> when was the band formed? Well, we were uh, building, formed in uh, 2007. Six? Six? Yeah, we started <laughs> playing together. And uh, 2010, we changed our name to Hell Horse. And uh, yeah, 2006, that was building. So Hell Horse was formed in 2010. Uh, why did you decide to change the band name? I think uh, Jakob should also. Yeah, it is because of the letter, the Danish letter U. It's, uh, Denmark is the only country with the letter U, so yeah, it's a big problem. When, uh, we were called Dodning yeah. outside Denmark, so yeah, that it doesn't work outside Denmark. It's really Denmark. cool if your name is and how did you get the idea to name the band Hell Horse? Actually, we didn't. It was an old bass player. He ah. came up with the band name. We had a lot of, uh, <laughs> we had a lot of uh, ideas for the band name. Uh, we were thinking about Death wears a hat. But, uh, <laughs> But yeah, no, it was, uh, he came up with the idea for Hill Horse and uh, we all thought it was a pretty cool name. Thank God we didn't. <laughs> we had a lot of stupid uh, suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as you said, uh, it, the band was formed out of, uh, let's say, the ashes of that name. Yeah. I can remember you playing a show at uh, this town, at the Alternative Rock Café Muckers, together yeah. with Greyline and Hexacord. Yes, yes, yes. What do you remember of that show? Oh shit, man! That was a, that was a great tour. That was our first tour. Actually, we only played like two shows at least. When I was from our tour to band, we played two shows in Denmark, and next thing we were playing like three or four shows in the Benelux, and it was so much fun, and it was so important for the band to get out there, and um, it gave us a lot of motivation to just carry on. You know? So it was. I remember that tour very fondly. I remember uh, Stefan, there was a photographer, a female photographer, that was very, very happy about Stefan. So all the live Hashtag pictures in that candy. show were <laughs> all of Stefan. Number two. Yeah, so really good. Right? We love the Greyline guys. I mean, Julian came down today to see the show, and we haven't seen him in like five years, and it was, yeah, awesome. Is this the first performance of Hell Horse in the Netherlands? Oh. No, we played three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. Three years ago. I actually didn't have a three years ago. We played, I, I can't remember the, the, the other bands. There was a Canadian band, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Yeah, we, so we played it. But we, we, uh, we've been really busy in Scandinavia in the last two years. So we focused a lot on Denmark and Scandinavia. And, uh, Right now, we released the next new album on our spine farm, so we're coming back to Europe now to work on these territories. Ah, good that you mentioned it, spine farm. How did you get in touch with those guys? They love us. Yeah, yeah. yeah someone wrote an email. Yeah, there was some some emails sent and received, and then suddenly, bam. No, it was actually, uh, it was uh, uh, the a and from uh, spine farm, uh, he knows the band, he likes the band, and um, I think he wrote an email to us, uh, please send me a new record, and um, we sent it, and they really liked it. And uh, They're actually really awesome guys. Yeah, it's a yeah, really fucking really good label. It's a good label, yeah. Good label, 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 label. When I listen to your latest album, it's kind of like being in a time machine by hearing so much influences from, uh, let's say, about 50 years of pop music. I was wondering, who do you consider your biggest inspirational artist? Eske. Eske. Well, it is Eske. like it's a, uh, <laughs> like a parade of 50 years of music or so. 
Um, of course, there's uh, Black Sabbath and uh, Led Zeppelin, and uh, we have uh, Thin Lizzy and uh, Queen. Oh, Queen. Yeah. And uh, we have 90s stuff, grunge stuff. Uh, Alice in Chains. Alice in Chains and Soundgarden and uh, Incubus. No, not Incubus. <laughs> <laughs> no one in the band knows who Incubus. I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we have all the like. Uh, we also love like uh, rock metal, uh, you know, Mastodon and uh, Pantera. And, and we love Pantera and all the. Yeah, that, that's like the main influence. Yeah. That's why we started. Like a very wide variety of uh, different. Yeah, bands. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess the band was founded on Pantera and on this record that was like a lot of focus on the classical mm. stuff. Yeah. Uh, I also noticed Hellhorse used to have another bass player. Yes. Mm. Smaller one. Smaller I one. just ate <laughs> <laughs> he, he ate the old guy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Tyson was this big when he joined the band. Yeah, he ate the old one. He lost their voice. <laughs> I grew with the assignment. <laughs> no, ask him. But can you tell me, how did you become a member of this band? I actually went to an audition and uh, I didn't suck. So uh, <laughs> they asked me to come back again. Oh, you suck like, like less. And then I suck even less. And then uh, they, they decided I was the one that sucked the less, the, the least. And then uh, you were awesome. I got the gig. Yeah. Plus, okay. I, had a, I had a driver license. So, uh, <laughs> he actually said to the first edition that uh, he really liked to, you know, uh, drive, uh, pack gear and uh, drive the car and uh, do all the practical stuff. And we were like, you're just, you're, just saying, you're just saying that because you want the gig. But he actually likes it. <laughs> so, and also, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's such a thing as like, Danish modesty and Thais is being very Danish and modest right now. But the thing is that we had a lot of bass players in audition. Good all that, that good really good players and they all hit the right notes. But when Thais came in, it, it felt was magic. Right. It felt it right. Kind of <laughs> because there was actually uh, I remember looking at the other guys and uh, for all the uh, all the other 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 audition members we had to talk about it. And when Ties come in, came in, um, nobody said anything. We just nodded to each other and said, "Yeah, that's probably our guy." Yeah, that's our guy. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And I wish you to work with those guys, Ties. It's like shit. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I re I've regretted it ever since. <laughs> now you're stuck. He's, yeah, dri <laughs> he's driving a lot. I a signed lot. some papers and now I'm caught. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, you sold your show. Yes. You no, it's actually pretty fun. They let me haul a lot of gear and uh, drive a lot of miles, and that's, I love it. Great, great. <laughs> you hit the jackpot, son. And I get to play shows, so uh, I'm happy. Creating badass music. Yeah, yeah. Not so long ago, you played at the Copenhagen Festival together with the legendary Black Sabbath. Yes. Yeah. How was it to share a stage with such? Actually, huge, we didn't. Huge band. <laughs> it wasn't the same stage. Yeah, they was. played another stage than we did. So. Oh, but, um, it was a great in place. In the spirit of... It was, it, that was a good concert. We shared the bill with Black Sabbath. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a same cool show. Yeah. Yeah. That, that show was really good. The sun was out and the crowd was really, really happy. Amazing. So uh, it was a good show. There was a lot of good energy. A lot of love. Probably the wildest crowd we ever played together. Yeah. There was a... Big wall of death and circle pits, circle pits and uh, people went mental. Yeah, yeah. basically, <laughs> we, we were a little surprised because it was like it was like three in the afternoon, and we were like, okay, I hope people show up, you know. And then it was totally packed. It was like probably ten thousand people, and they just went ape shit, you know. And uh, yeah. it was. I was actually worried at the time that we were, uh, 
run out of audience because they were crowd surfing all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Picked up by the security guards. <laughs> there was one guy with there was one guy with leather pants, and I kept noticing him just coming like he was coming over the, and went over, and then five, two minutes later, like okay, hey. yeah. yeah. go back. And he was just like running around, just up oh, crowd surfing, running back, crowd surfing. So that was a good concert. Yeah. Sure, sure. Did you have any chance to meet Oshie? No. No? no? <laughs> oh, that was, uh, no, I, I think after that show, everybody kind of went to the beer well and jumped in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a claw finger. <laughs> we go to the claw finger show. Yeah. That was fucking amazing. Uh, we met, actually, uh, what happened at Copenhagen, we, uh, the festival wanted us to do a, a signing okay. session. Yeah. And uh, we were like, oh, okay, we'll do it. And uh, it was a lot of fun. There was like, we did it non-stop for 30 minutes, there was a, a big, big line on yeah. the set, uh, tent, it was really moving, I mean, I was, we were blown away by all these yeah. really cool people that just had a good time and loved that band, that was so cool, so cool. When you look uh, back up to now, what was the, the, the best band to, to join the stage with? Through all the years? Really? Which, which one comes first to mind? A band we played with? Yeah. yeah. ACDC. Yeah. That's not what came that's, that's comes the, to mind, but that's the, just because it was the biggest. Uh, but I'm not biggest. really sure. Yeah. The band Anthrax is also great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anthrax. I think uh, it's an easy for sure. Yeah. yeah. It was like. Uh, it was crazy. Yeah. They, they are, they were, all the shit. And People were really nice. They just had a very uh, specific craft, or whatever. They, they knew what they were doing. They weren't trying to do anything else. And even though half of the band wasn't the original, partially original band, it was the craft, and it was so uh, well done. Well done, and it was really. Uh, Passionate still. Yeah. It's a rock and roll yeah. train just running. Yeah. It, it wasn't like a, you, you didn't have the sense of a band just doing it for the money. I think that that yeah, I agree. The feeling was uh, very inspiring that they were playing for yeah. like thousands and thousands of people, but they weren't really uh, badass. They were really just really badass and doing their yeah, own thing. I agree. I agree. It was extremely inspirational to see these people, 50 years down their career, just still being so passionate and doing it because they want to. That's so fucking amazing. Man. Yeah. Can you imagine yourself being in a band for so much, over so much years? We would probably be, be dead by drinking. <laughs> I don't know. It depends on if our wives divorce us and our children leave us, but. Um, Luckily, we are all, we have very patient wives. That yeah. probably helps. <laughs> great family, great family. Yeah. Great, yeah. Yeah. great friends. Yeah. Also. Oh, we oh. don't know. No. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> but hey, you know what? We're gonna give it a try. Yeah. That's always good. Yeah. I was wondering, I was listening to the third album and I noticed that a lot of songs have to do with life. Yeah. Can we consider it a concept album? Well, actually, me and Eske kind of, we wrote the lyrics, and I guess it's a pseudo concept album. It has a, a red line uh, uh, with all the the lyrics are about like the very basic concepts of life. It's about the core emotions uh, like shame, joy, love, anger, all the feelings we have as human beings. Because on this album, we really wanted to make a very human album. It was very important for us to be very like open and connecting with people. So, I don't know, do you guys think it's a concept album? No. I don't think so. But do you see the red line in the lyrics? Well, there's a themes. We started not a concept album. Yeah, we started off by actually sort of trying to make a theme. Uh, which were the core emotions, the human emotions, describing the, the human being. But I think eventually we sort of just focused on getting really cool songs. Just do that. 
instead of uh, sort of trying to force something. <laughs> content. Into well, I think the the general theme still is, and uh, it's not all. It's not really a theme. It's more of a a band attitude. Is a, a celebration of everything, not just uh, like. And heavy metal stuff, but uh, happy stuff, and, uh, like uh, Being take, alive. Uh, take everything that life is and uh, just uh, jump into it. And uh, I really like what Mikkel says when we play live, when uh, these few sort of three or four gigs we've been playing, where he, he, all, he says that our primary task is to sort of make people forget that they have to go to work tomorrow, that they have a shitty girlfriend, if they have, or I think that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, but whatever problems they have in life, we sort of, our main focus is to make people forget and just have a really awesome time. Yeah. Uh, when did your current tour start? Well, we're doing uh, we're doing uh, okay. some legs now. We're doing uh, some European shows now. We're playing Denmark uh, throughout the fall. We're coming. We're going to UK for the first time, and then uh, hopefully we're uh, going to be more. We'll be no, doing more tour next year. I was wondering. Uh, of course, touring is a lot of traveling. Yeah. What do you do to pass the time? Drink. Uh, no. Driving. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I don't know. Drink, drinking is a big part of it. Of course, of course. I don't mean to be like. But actually, but it, is. It, it, it was. Uh, it was. We drank a lot more when we were younger. So now it's more like reading, talking about. Oh, we've been talking. Listening to music. Yeah. We've been talking a lot about uh, psychiatry. Yeah, and mm -hmm. economics. Yeah. And economics. <laughs> yes. <Politics>. Very boring. <laughs> very, boring. <laughs> very, very boring. <laughs> But listening to good music all Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, the drive the drives between the shows is kind of getting ready for the next show. So it's a pre-party every time with whatever comes with that. So Psychiatry. Yeah. Psychiatry. Yeah, the first drive was like 10 hours. The drive here was like 5 hours. So a lot of time goes by just driving. Yeah. Driving and drinking. Driving and drinking. <laughs> of course not the driver, he yeah. just drives. He does cocaine. Yeah. He does cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> he does uh, driving, driving drugs. <laughs> you know, he, needs, he needs to stay, stay work. Like heroin and stuff. Heroin. <laughs> so we can say it ain't a hell of a ride. Yeah, it is a hell of a ride. It is? Yeah. yeah. Indeed. Uh, who made that video clip for that song? Because I, I love it. Uh, the, the music video? Yeah, the guy, it's called uh, Jakob Prenzlau. Yeah. He's a cool dude, he used to, he did videos for uh, Ballbeat and he did videos for Bring Me The Horizon. Yeah. And he What's also... His, his Facebook is like... What? Plastic, 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 plastic yeah. But it, it was totally his idea to do it a one take uh, video. It was supposed to be in, a, in our rehearsal space, but um, we rented this uh, venue in Denmark called uh, Amabio. And we did it in there, and it was, uh, yeah, it, it, all of it was his idea and his vision, and uh, we just uh, rolled along the idea. That's just, uh, and it came out great, I think. Yeah, the, cool, the cool thing about it is that the fact that it's, it's a one shot video, there's no editing, we just uh, rehearsed everything a couple of times, and then we did four takes, and then okay. the best take was wow. the video. So what you see on the video is just one long sequence of us uh, doing these uh, routines. That makes it even more impressive. Yeah. It was, it was a really a, fun video to do. Uh, yeah, we got some uh, free beer. Uh, Two more. Yeah. And it sort of uh, picks up the essence of the band. Really yeah. cool way. Party setting, having fun. Said just uh, having fun. Doing what we love. Playing music. When I listen to your music, it always reminds me somehow of music that could have been in some obscure cult movie. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Great. I, I was wondering, nice. are you uh, movie uh, fans? Sure. Yeah. We all are, I think. At least I am. No, no, we all are. We all are. We all are. You can describe what all movies. I love adult yeah. movies. Uh, yeah. Maybe Do not in obscure movies, but are uh, you? Yeah, I'm definitely into uh, the more. 
weird movies, I'm but really uh, I, I like uh, old movies. I like it. Actually, I was just seen this uh, Shadow uh, movie, The Shark. Ah, the new Shark yeah. movie is very cool. I really <laughs> like uh, I really like Tchaikovsky and uh, Last of Tria and all those. Yeah. But I think if you're a big music fan, you probably are a big yeah. uh, movie fan yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then again, we are, <laughs> again, like when we hear music, we are six different people, and it's the same thing about the movies. Yeah. I'm a big sci fi guy. You know? yeah. And I but we have all these uh, we have all connections. similarities. Yeah. And then the modern sci-fi or the classic? Oh, both actually. I love uh, sci-fi horror, <laughs> and, and, like Aliens, and Event Horizon and stuff like that. I really do. I think one of the things I, l I love most about these guys is that they're, what inspires me to play in the band with them is all these all these really cool guys are they're so open to to like Cult, for influences, be it like other genres of music or movies or art, that we're, we're so different, but I think we're really good at combining it into a, a common strength, you know, because everybody's open to all kinds of inspiration. We talk about everything from video games to yeah. movies to art so to books, you know, it just creates a really cool platform to, to work on. I enjoy that immensely. What's your like favorite movie? Oh, it's hard to say. I, I also <laughs> like a lot of movies. But the old ones, old cult movies. Roger Corman stuff. Jaws, of course. Jaws? Yeah, yeah but I also science fiction. So have you seen Close Encounters? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Close Encounters. Shallows, I've seen it. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. It was a cool movie. <laughs> and of course Star Wars. You know, yeah. The old ones. Yeah. The old ones. I, I'm a big Star Trek fan. Ooh. I love that. <laughs> I like Ocean <laughs> Band. <laughs> of course you do, dear. Was the other time speaking? Ah, not so. Ach, you understand. Yeah, I can do it. For a bunt off. For a bunt off. For a bunt off. For a bunt off. Yeah, nice question. What, what are your future plans? Awesome. Touring, yes. touring, playing, touring, touring more. Play more shows, play more shows, <laughs> play more music. Yeah. As many shows as we possibly can get. Hopefully we can conquer Europe. Yeah, and then America. Raising and then Japan. an army of Hell Horsians. Hell Horsians. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Just do better music and uh, yeah. Yeah. play more shows. Yeah. Have fun with it. Slipknot so got maggots. Yeah. We got enjoying fans. life. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my last question. Is there anything you want to say to the readers of fuck.ml? Well, I <laughs> hope you enjoy the music. Yeah, have hope fun you, out there. Uh, come and see a show one time. Yeah, and buy the new Raging Speed On album. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then you should buy our new album. <laughs> As well. And buy yeah. right another Raging Speed On album. And buy a Raging Speed On first. Yeah. Then, uh, <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> no, uh, oh. Thanks for.